Hi all, so today we're gonna to be doing a thrift with me and a thrift haul. This was originally going to be um, a lot smaller, but I ended up going thrifting while I was in Melbourne and then when I went back home to Tasmania for Christmas. So you're kind of gonna see both of those and some of the shots of where I um, thrifted, where I went, etc. So stick around for that, that's gonna be the first part and then we'll do the thrift haul slash like try on after this. And uh, today we're going with an all pink look. Um, haven't done anything pink in a long time, but I think when I have my blonde hair, I like the way I look with the pink on. So that's today's look, that's today's video, and yeah, enjoy. Right, so now we're into the thrift haul part. Uh, so I have so much decor. I also have um, a bit of clothes and accessories as well. So it's kind of a big mixed bag, but there is a lot to show you. Okay, so starting off pretty relaxed and chill. I just have this big hexagon black tray. Um, we are currently, well, sorry, I am currently um, like trying to propagate some plants and have more plants in our house, especially in our lounge room. So I just needed something that I could put the plants on that will catch any water because some of my plants don't have any like plates or anything beneath them to catch the water. So I just thought this would be a good um, basic item. Okay, so the next items, um, I've been actually looking for some statue decor pieces. So I found these uh, in Melbourne and they are, uh, look, this one's David, obviously. I don't actually know what the statue this is or who the original like artist of the statue is, but they're just these cream colored statues. They're, they sound like they're, they're definitely not clay or anything like that. They're not porcelain. They're almost like a heavy duty plastic, but I just think they look really cool. Um, I do have the prices on these, they were $5 each, and I think that's totally fine for two pretty cool statues. I'm just gonna pop these ones in the lounge room. Okay, so next up, uh, I have some vases that I found. So this one already has a little plant in it. This vase is, or was $3 and I found it in Melbourne. It, it is just like this really cool uh, brown glass, but at the top, as you can kind of see, it has um, this sort of wriggly pattern um, like at the top, and I just think that's kind of cool. Now, our lounge room is kind of like a very 70s feel, so I'm trying to really lean into that with like the colored glass and all of those sort of vibes, but I do have a little plant in here, which I'm propagating at the moment. I just think this glass looks really cool and really fits the vibe of our lounge room. On that same note, I found these two blue glass bottles. They were, I don't have the stickers on these, but I think they were like $1.50 each or something really cheap. They were probably just like, I don't know, had sparkling water in them or something. But I think if I can find the right plants propagating these, these will be really cool um, matching each other. Probably gonna put them separately in the lounge room, sort of away from each other. But I just think the color of the glass is quite nice. This next one, is this really nice sort of round um, green glass and it has this like very thin top again trying to find the right plant to propagate it in this it has a really thin stem would be nice but I just really like the shape of this one and the color also kind of goes with the blue um, and the brown one that I found before as well it's all quite matching in that 70s vibe I don't remember how much this one was I'm gonna say probably no more than like three dollars but I just really like it lastly with the vases I have this big black round one I just think this one is really, a, again, a really nice shape and has a very, very like short, uh, what would you call it, like spout at the top, I suppose. Again, I don't remember how much this one was and I obviously took the price off it, but again, probably only like three or four dollars. And it's just like a good, decent size without being too big. Okay, so the next homewares um, or item that I picked up was this horribly <laughs> tacky, like bas glass basket. I really wanted something that we could put like chocolates in because I had a lot of leftover chocolate from Christmas. And I just love the way it's got this beautiful, like round um, pattern feeling all over it. And then the ripply edges. And it's just like ugly and that kind of makes it cool. <laughs> um, I think it fits really well on our lounge room as well, but I just popped chocolates in that one because I kind of want to be that person that's like has snacks for when friends come over. So this one was $15, a little bit more expensive, but I, I kind of think it is worth it for what it is. Um, so that is that horribly, tacky amber to like baby pink color, but I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, so the next three items I actually bought for my housemate. She is totally obsessed with clowns and specifically um, peri, perio, periot clowns. Forgive me, I don't even know what how to pronounce it, but she loves the type of clowns. So I bought her three um, items, so I'll show you those now. The first item is this little jug. I don't really know that it would be used for much, to be perfectly honest, maybe just like holding flowers or, it's a little bit small to like hold an actual drink in it, but it has this tiny little um, clown on the front here. And I just thought it was really cute. This one, I believe was $2 or something very cheap like that. Um, so that's that one there. Okay, so the next item is this little uh, 
pop puri holder. Um, it holds those like smelly, nice smelling uh, dried flower petals in. But it's this gorgeous like midnight blue color and then it has this cute little clown sitting on the front holding a flower. Um, it has a little blue ribbon on as well and this one was $2. It says it's made in Japan by Belina Periot, Perio Love. So that's kind of fun. Um, I'm obsessed with Japan. So if anything says J like Japan made in Japan, I'm like, oh my God, so cool. So um, just gave that to her as well and she loves it. The next uh, item I bought her was this kind of creepy um, big white clown that has like a vase little thing there in the middle um, and it's playing the violin. I kind of think this is a bit weird, <laughs> but she loves it. Um, this was only $14 and again, this is made in Japan. So I guess like a lot of these um, clown things are made in Japan because I saw the ones that I did see were quite like what all said Japan made in Japan not so I don't know but anyway it's cool I hope she put some like big flowers in it or something or jewelry in it we'll see but that's that creepy little clown right there okay so moving on to uh, clothes and accessories there are a few things in here that I picked up prior to filming any of this footage um, of me going to Thrift in Melbourne or Tasmania. So anything that I show you, like it might be from a previous time, but I just wanted to throw it in there as well. Cause like, why not? What am I going to show you anyway? So the first time I picked up was this pair of Dickies. Now this one was from, these were from Tasmania and like to find a pair of branded items in a Tasmania op shop is like very rare. Um, you can tell they're American because they're a size zero. We go, we don't go down past like usually a size four. Um, so I think a size zero is like a size eight, six maybe. I don't know. They definitely don't fit me. I'm like a size 10 to a 12 Australian. But anyway, got a pair of Dickies. Um, they've got the branding and everything on the back, which is cool. They're just like a, I guess like a straight leg fit. Um, they feel really brand new. I, like even the tag is still attached, so they're obviously brand new. But I was just really happy to find these because then I can throw them on my uh, my Depop and then someone else can have them. I picked them up for $6. So I think that's pretty amazing to find a pair of like popular, uh, like a popular item for so cheap. So the next item is a pair of jeans. Now I actually had these selling on my Depop because I found two pairs in slightly different sizes. This was a while ago, um, but these are Dr. Denim blue jeans. They're a straight leg fit. Um, I, when I bought them, they were, a, I found a size 29 and a size 32. The size 32 was too big and the size 29 was too small. But um, after coronavirus sort of chilled out a little bit, um, I managed to actually fit myself back into the 29. So I kept these ones for myself and the 32s are still on my Depop. So I was just really happy to find these because they were pretty inexpensive. I think I found them for like $5, which is so cheap. You can tell that they would have been like um, a faulty pair in the shop or um, like a pair that they didn't sell when they stopped stocking this particular style because they've actually cut the back of the uh, tag off and on the inside of the sizes they've like scribbled out a marker so you can tell that these are like a dead stock or something like that. Um, so these are really cool. I've been wearing these a lot lately. I I go in and out of liking blue denim but at the moment I like them and I enjoy wearing them with my um, new rocks. I just think there's something fun about pairing something really casual with something really <laughs> hectic. So. This is what I've been pairing those with and I've kind of been loving wearing them. Okay, so the next item I found is this like obnoxiously, obnoxiously um, annoying pair of pants because they make such a horrible sound. So I picked these up, um, they're actually IMG and again, I believe they're like a dead stock item or whatever because the tag has been cut and scribbled out again. Um, so they are these IMG like see-through, like you can definitely see through them, like you can see my skin in there now. Um, really loud, really high-waisted, really, really, really long pants. So I'm going to put these up in my Depop at some point to sell. I picked these up for like $10, again, like very inexpensive because I know IMG will be selling these for like 160 or something like that. So yeah, they're just these like reddish pink brown toed snakeskin pants. Um, I tried them on and I kind of like them on me, but then I think I was just a little too short with them. Like I'm sure if I wore them with like platform boots and a crop top, they'd sort of like make my body look um, elongated. But just for now, I just don't think that I would get as much wear out of them as I want. And plus I think they'd be better in cooler weather and it's very hot in Melbourne at the moment. So that's those, but if you want them, they are gonna be on my Depop. A while ago, I went to like a consignment store called Goodbyes. It used to be called um, uh, Recycle Boutique. And I found a pair of Omighty Thai boxing style shorts and they were in a pastel pink blue 
and white I think and I tried them on and I really really liked them but they were selling them for like $59 I was like I cannot fathom spending that much money especially on the colors that I don't normally wear so I put them back and I was like I'm not gonna keep them whatever it's fine and then I went uh, shopping with Beck, my friend in Melbourne, which you would have seen the footage of, and I found these shorts for $15. And I was like, damn, the like thrift girls are smiling upon me right now because like I waited and now I found exactly the same sort of vibe of shorts that I wanted, but I found them in my color scheme. So I found these Thai boxing shorts. They are red, black, and white, which is definitely more of a comfortable color for me. And they're these like fun, stretchy, silky material. If anybody, if anybody can read Thai and know what that says on the front, please tell me because I can't work it out. I don't know if this will be backwards in the camera view, but regardless, if you know what that says, let me know because my housemates said that they normally say things like killer or um, I don't know, like wild or something on the front there. So if you know what it says, let me know. But they're super fun, um, like that on the back. I just thought in the summer they'd be really cool to pair with like a crop. Um, and some chunky boots or I don't know like some cool like exaggerated slides just for something really casual really cool but still like to make a statement all right the last clothing item and I don't know how I'm going to show you this on this part of the camera but I'll show you a like a full body shot is a matching suit now I was dying to find a matching suit and um, so I went into an op shop just down the road for me this was before all that footage and I found this matching shoe it's like I manifested it and it was only eight dollars so this is the top half I actually put this pin into myself because I wanted to like add my own sort of energy to it um, this is the suit part and then the pants are here now this is a men this is men's sizing so I was really lucky that this actually fit me so well because sometimes men men's pants are too tight across my stomach um, and my thighs and it really like squeezes everything but they actually fit me really well those are the pants um, I don't know if it's showing up on camera but they are pinstripe and I really wanted a pinstripe suit so I'm really happy that I found like a matching suit that fit me so well so yay for manifestation and again thank you thrift gold for letting me have exactly what I wanted I've been wearing them separately too sometimes I'll wear this with a skirt um, or a pair of like other pants and in this one I'll wear with like crops and long sleeves and etc coats and so on so it's cool to have like a piece that co comes together but you can also wear it separately okay moving on to the accessories I've only got a few things left to show so I found these when I was shopping with Beck um, and they are these like platform slides not really like super within my comfort zone but they sort of are because they have these cleated um, detailed soles and I picked these up for $8 in my size, obviously. I'm very lucky to have found them in my size. But these are by a brand called Daisy, D-A-Z-I-E. And when I looked the company up online, I actually found that they normally retail their shoes for between like 69 to like 110 or whatever. So pretty good find to have picked these up for only $8. And I haven't worn them out yet, but I'm gonna just sort of give them a go. And if they don't work for me, I'll just put them on my Depop. But I kind of think if I pair them with the right thing, I will like wearing them. Okay, so last two items. Um, are two bags. Now they're very similar and also very um, in style at the moment. So they are these, I guess like people are calling them baguette bags. Um, this one is like a faux leather material, slightly longer strap, but it's just like, I really like it. I think it's like very much on the trend at the moment, but I do want to DIY because, um, or thrift flip it, because it has this sort of uh, black string that sort of goes in between the bag and it's not really my style so I think that I can pull this out and add something else to it I might actually make a video on how I flip this one and the other bag I'm about to show you because like I think it will be easy to make this very much more my style but that's the first bag there oh I also think I picked this up for not no more than like two dollars yeah two dollars so that's a pretty good steal especially for something that's currently very on trend so just keep looking for the bags you want and I'm sure at some point you'll manifest them and you will find them. Okay, so the other one is exactly sort of, exactly sort of the same. Um, doesn't make any sense. But it is this PVC style baguette bag. And again, I really like this side of it, but I don't like the front side because it has this bow here and I just think that that's not me at all. I don't ever do anything that has really has a bow on it. Um, so that's that there and I'm going to attempt to remove that bow. You probably can't really see it in this shot at the moment, but I'm just going to attempt to remove that and maybe do something else with it. Uh, this one was $3, so again, really, really cheap, but I love, love PVC. It's one of my favorite materials and I'm very happy that I found this. It also has silver hardware, which is a bonus because a lot of bags I find have gold hardware and I don't wear gold. Um, it's got a decent amount of room. 
by a brand called Tosca. I haven't really heard of that, but I like that it's slightly shorter in its length, so it just sits under the arm. But I'm going to see what I can do with that to make it more my style as well. So keep your eye out for that video if I decide to make it. And uh, yeah, that should be fun. So that is the end of my thrift haul. I want to thank you so much for watching. If there's anything that you really liked, let me know down below. I'm really hoping to do more thrift hauls because there are so many thrift shops in Australia. You just have to really hunt for them. I'm hoping to go to the Camberwell Market tomorrow, which will be a Sunday, and pick some stuff up. And maybe I might accumulate that in with a uh, deep up haul as well and do another haul like that but yeah if you like anything let me know some stuff will be in my deep hop so feel free to check it out there but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this style of video if you did let me know down below and i might make some more otherwise i'll see you all later bye